Setters on first down. Going to keep it on the ground. And a big hole to the right-hand side for Nasir Robinson. Try and get some points on the board after an impressive drive stalls. And that one goes through the uprights, and they get threes and cut the lead down to just four for the Southern Connecticut State University Owls. In and Owls uniform and 11 touchdowns. But Ridley going back over the middle. Finds his man. It's Tucker. Tucker breaks away to the 40. Tucker turns on the Jets. He stays on his feet. Tucker trying desperately to get in the end zone but gets down at a 12-yard line. Defensive coordinator play 4-2-5. Ridley back on third down. Has a man over the middle. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Owls. Jaden Colon. And it picked up his first touchdown in an Owls uniform. Strong of late. Tenth in yards per catch in the any 10. Last two outings, the seven catches for 171 yards. But that drive. First and 10, ball at the 41. 14 2 left here before the half. 14-3 lead for the Owls over the setters. As the Owls look for two in a row, but rushing up the right side is Nasir Robinson. Davis, back to pass, under a little bit of pressure, swings it out. A little bit of space and a nice open field tackle in an Owls uniform, and that's going to bring up first and 10 for the Owls. Ball in the 20. 11-39 left here before the half, and Ridley's going to get wrestled down. Hockey. Has a 17-yarder on the day, and he boots this one through the upright. So perfect on the day. The kicker with all the points, and now pace with six, but trail. Quarterback center exchange. Powell in motion. And no place to go for Powell. A little trick play called there by offensive coordinator John Weiss, who has just been spectacular in his second season. Anthem to start the ball game, but it's a 14 to 6 lead for the Owls. Second and 20. Second and a mile. Ball at the 30 yard line. Ridley gets a good chunk of yardage to the Sacred Heart transfer, Dylan Jones. Third and 11. Ball at the 39. 450 left here before the half. Owls want to tack on a couple extra points, but there's. Just as I say, he, was at, he wasn't going to be in the uniform, he wasn't on the depth chart at all. All season long, eight different receivers have caught a touchdown. As they look to get the ground game going and keeping his legs is Gray. Gray barrels his way up to close to a first down. Pace trails 6-14 to 14 to the Owls. Davis with the scramble. Does he have another one in him? Wrapped up almost yet again. As he gets out of the midst of Magliazzi and pushed out of bounds finally by DiGiello. Not 10. See if they go to one of them on third and seven. Ball at the 46. 30 seconds remain. Davis under pressure by Joe DiGiello, and he sacked. Another sack. New Haven sit atop of the standings in first and second. And over the middle, tipped and it's intercepted by Pace. The first interception thrown is going to be a pick six for the Pace setters. Keith Ridley had thrown over 260 times with zero INTs. That was Ridley, four wide receivers. They're going to go back to the air, right over the middle, complete. A little catch and run for Tariq Hetmeyer. Hetmeyer gets over the 40-yard line at a big first down. So look for them to get after it. They have one on the day so far. Ridley stands tall, over the middle, and it's caught! Down at the 30, 28 yard line. Number three, a two point lead for the Owls. 14 to 12. Pick six is the only score so far here in the second half. Ridley gets it down into the end zone for a touchdown. Owls. And make it up for the penalty was Luke Jackson. Excuse me, for 23. On the season, the kicking game was a little shaky in years past, but it has been solidified with the freshman. Davis, 3 for 10 on the day for just 20 yards, but he's been good scrambling. Scrambled for 22 yards already. And White comes in for the sack! Play started on the Owls 40. They got pushed back, but here they are. And right over the mid on Rock, but in the Smith's hands. Smith turns on the afterburners for a touchdown. 
setters. They answer the call once again. 7.34. The PAT up and it is no good. So a three-point lead now. That's going to be interesting. It's a Divine Edwards on the near side of your screen. He had a big touchdown last week. He's crossing over the middle. And Ridley is going to be sacked for a big loss by Travis. It's going to be first and ten. Ball to 17 for the setters. Davis. Intercepted by Quinton Hunt. Pick six. Owls. Uh, first INT of the ball game goes into the lockdown corner's hands. The senior on senior day and gets his third career interception in an Owls uniform. The other side, the other cornerbacks have switched all season long. Pace in a 10-point hole. New quarterback, Kennedy, fires over the middle on a TD strike. And as setters come back once again. Robert Ennis picks up his first touchdown of the ball game. Now, it's what we expected. Now they've missed one PAT so far. And that one doinks off the upright if Pace was able to achieve all three of those. But here's Ridley on third down. Ridley up high to Shrake and Shrake and comes down with it at the 49-yard line. Keith Ridley all over the SCSU record books. 11 under 11 minutes to play. He wants the victory here on senior day. Swing pass out and what a grab. Second in any 10 play. And Ridley with the keeper gets his fifth touchdown for a touchdown. Owls. Fifth rushing touchdown for Keith Ridley. He has three through the air, one on the ground. Rushing. He has 18, excuse me, 19 now scored in the season. He sits in fifth. Started right with Broadway star Madison Lagaris singing the national anthem and a little shake and bake and an 11-yard scamper. The pace setters at their 11-yard lines are going to have to go 89 yards for a score to get back into this one. 5.30 left in the ballgame. Can the Owls hold on here on senior day, but ripping it off right there. First and 10, ball to 26. Quarterback keeper at the 30, at the 40, a little shake and bake. Finally pushed out of bounds by DeJello is Ethan Cody. That brings up a second and long. 336 remains. Cody running out of time. He wants it all right here. Quentin Houghton in coverage, but a beautiful dime dropped in there to Joshua Glenn, and he's down at the one. A big penalty pass interference on Joe DiGello, and he comes in for the lick as McGuire tries to push his way through, and it's a touchdown. Setters. What a back and forth ball game. It looked like the Owls were on cruise control, but a nine yard line. Cody looking for somewhere to go. He's going to scramble for it. He's got plenty of space. Tries a spin move, but wrestled down. Another two point conversion. Stop that one by Karan Walker. 45 left in the ball game. Probably just going to hand it off to Gray, and they do. Gray up the middle. Gray squirts his way past the 20, 50 yard line into Setter's territory. Kennedy. He's going to do the quick pass out, Teddy. Oh, they're doing the shuffle here. Let's see what happens all over the field and rumbling down and finally taken down at the 40. No, still on his feet. Another. They were pitching it back and forth and that's finally it. The Owls go on for their third victory on the season by beating the pace setters now have beaten them two in a row with a score 35 to 30 for the entire production crew i'm chris smith good day from just outfield home of the owls